hello everyone and one welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well by god's grace so today i'm going to be sharing with you this delicious delicious coconut and nuts coconut and nuts rock bands this is ghana rock bands you'll love it. it's amazing very very amazing so let's get into it and i'll show you so first of all, I have um, some milk, okay? So I have fresh milk. You can use water if you don't have fresh milk. And I'm topping it up to the level I want, okay? So um, yeah, so I was just measuring it. So I've turned it into a bigger bowl. I'm adding my vanilla extract, okay? And I'm going to add my eggs. So four eggs, okay? I'm going to be putting all the ingredients and the measurements all in the description box for you, okay? So I stir it, right? And I'm going to set it aside and then we'll deal with the dry ingredients, okay? So I have my flour. I'm going to add my sugar, okay? Then I'll add the coconut, desiccated coconut. So desiccated coconut is basically coconut that has been shredded, okay, and dried. That's all. Without the back, without the black bits, okay? Or the brown bits, if I can say that. So I'm adding my allspice. So you can use nutmeg if you want or cinnamon. But I'm using allspice because I like that. And I'm adding some salt. So you need to add salt to bring out the taste. Otherwise, sugar without salt, it tastes sugar. It just tastes flat. But then the salt will lift it up, okay? So you mix everything up. You make sure everything is nicely mixed. Then you add your butter, okay? So just like meat pie, the reason why we add the, um, the butter to the flour first is to stop gluten from forming, okay? So we add it in. So we just don't want it chewy. We want it to be nice and flaky. So you add in your butter first, soft butter, and then you mix it until it looks like this. You know, when you squeeze it, it can break apart easily, just like that. Okay? So like gari or something. You know, I said, we are gari for tono. <laughs> right? So, um, yeah, then you add your wet ingredients, your eggs and your milk, right? So I wanted this to be very nice and rich. That's why I used both... Um, fresh milk and evaporated milk otherwise if you don't want it rich you can use um, just fresh milk or if you don't have access to fresh milk just add water and evaporated milk not just evaporated milk but add some water to the evaporated milk okay so you mix it all don't over mix it right if you over mix it um it will become hard it will become chewy right so i'm going to scoop it into this cupcake cases right just so that you know i don't want to wash my cupcake tray hey juma eh, will be anything i wash it wash it so i bought these for anything like that then i don't have to wash it afterwards just remove the cases and then i put it back where i took it from right so um i did that i scooped um the first one the yellow ones because some people don't like nuts right so if you don't like nuts and you're making a big batch right if people don't like nuts and you're making a big batch scoop you know the nutless first and then you add your nuts that's what i've just done okay right so then you mix it and then you scoop it into a different color so that you can differentiate between which one is the nuts and which one is nutless nutless and your brofo and your brofo and your brofo craft created one move on so so yeah you scoop everything and you make sure it's, it comes to the top level because it's going to increase a little bit in size right and is going to be amazing so the next thing i do is i get some of the desiccated coconut and add sugar this is lemon sugar but then you can use any sugar that you you have at hand i had it i've bought this lemon sugar since 19 pangpanya i've never used this i'm like okay let me just use it here right so um yeah i just you just sprinkle it on your on your dough right and then yeah that is it you just bake it you bake it at 180 degrees okay um for 20 to 25 minutes or, or you can bake it low if you are not sure you can go once between 160 and 180 is fine right so this is it look at how beautiful it is it's amazing and it tastes fantastic i just say these things but try it and you see so rock bands is um just like sweet bud okay it's just a sweet bud you add less butter and you fry it and um this one you add more butter and you bake it so that's the difference just in case you don't know for info this is it and amazing so you can give this a try and at the end i'm going to open it up for you to see how it actually looks okay so thank you all for joining me okay so stay tuned and, and watch the end where you see me open it yeah so we're going to open it and see how it is, okay? 
So one of the best ways to eat your rock bands is with a cup of tea or coffee. I have a cup of coffee here, so it's going to go very well. Or with a bottle of malt, a can of Coke or whatever, any drink. So let's see, we're going to open it for you to see how it is. So first of all, it's really crunchy on the outside all the exterior is nice and crunchy that's how it's supposed to be okay that's the rocky bit you know the rocks the rocky bit it looks like a rock right and the rocky bit right? and the inside has to be nice and fluffy you see it has to break like that it doesn't have to be chewy or doughy like bread okay so yeah so that's the technique i've showed you today that's how you do it to get it. So the nuts are there. You can taste the coconut. It's just that I just love it. It's incredible. You love it. If you follow the recipe to the latter, you're going to get something amazing. Trust me. Oh so, yeah. My favorite bit is the exterior. No, the rocky bit all the side. That's my favorite. So go make your own and cheers. I'll see you in the very next one. Bye.